Hello. Please hit like button and subscribe my channel. Also press bell icon for future video notifications. Thanks. New Delhi, the Indian pair of Trisa Jolly and Gayatri Gopichand's dream run at the All England Championships came to an end as they lost in the semi-finals of the event in Birmingham on Saturday. Rising Indian stars couldn't pose any threat to Korean world number 20 pairing of Bak Naha and Lee So Hee, losing 10-21, 10-21 in a 46-minute women's doubles contest at the Utilita Arena. Gayatri, 20, and Trisa, 19, who were last edition's semi-finalists too, had a big chance to reach the finals but it ended in anti-climax as they were outplayed by the Koreans. Gayatri's father Pullela Gopichand, the chief national coach, was the last Indian to win the All England crown, in 2001, the first being the legendary Prakash Padukone in 1980. Not the ending anyone wanted but one of the most memorable performance by our Thunder women. Proud of you trees, t.co slash qtnbia0t, by media, at by underscore media. 1,679,138,046,000 The Indian pair was pitted against Back and Lee, the latter being an experienced player with two World Championships medals to boost. In fact, Lee and Shin had faced defeat against the Indian pair in the last edition but the Koreans have been relentless this week with wins over second and eighth seeds and looked in supreme touch as they came up with a tactical masterclass. The Koreans turned into a retrieving machine as they defended seamlessly and extended the rallies with their high tosses and lifts to not allow the Indians to play their short flat rally game. The result was that Gayatri and Trisa failed to make a good start, like they did in this week, falling behind 0-4 early on. Lee and Bak frustrated the Indian with longer rallies, waiting patiently for their opponents to make errors. It worked perfectly as the Koreans grabbed a 11-5 lead. Briefly the Indians made it 9-13 but it was a one-way traffic from 14-10, to 10, with the Koreans drawing the first blood with 7 straight points, including the last which went long from Gayatri. The Koreans didn't kill the shots at the nets and kept playing more high lifts with the Indians sticking with their smashes from the backcourt. Gayatri and Trisa couldn't change their tactics and went wide and long too many times as Lee and Bag zoomed to a massive 11-2 lead at the mid-game interval of the second game. Gayatri had her moment of brilliance, when she mixed body shots with a drop to grab a point to move to 5-11 after resumption, but such instances were too few. The Indians managed just 5 more points before Trisa hit the net to hand 10 match points to the Koreans, who sealed their place in the final after another long rally. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more sports updates.